So I just got off the phone with Grant and he is go mode for this paranormal channel and tonight we are going to do our first investigation. He's going to drive 150 kilometers, come down and visit and we are going to do the lookout in here in North Bay. Creepy as hell that place. We did a video investigation there during the day before, metal detecting. I'm going to put that on the channel for you guys right now. Check out that video in preparation for tonight's adventure, which will be up on the channel tomorrow. So stay tuned. So we're at a site in North Bay um, that's abandoned and it's a uh, and it's a, an old inn, and um, we didn't know if the municipality owns this. Um, there are no signs saying keep out. If you see behind me, they've put big rocks on the road, but there's no sign saying private or keep out or anything. So we're going to walk up and take a look and check this out. It's definitely got that post-apocalyptic feel to it. Now, you know what that feeling is? The shining. We brought the detectors because... You know, if it's city property, we thought we could maybe detect, but there's no signs, as you can see, anywhere coming in here. Look at that place. That screen's shining, man. Want to get your creep on? I don't feel anything yet. So we're on lookout for animals and people. Never know who's living in this place. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but I did not expect that. That warm smell of decay that's coming out of here. Honest to God, I've never smelt anything like that. Yeah, it is kind of gross. <laughs> Satan's butthole. <laughs> this is the wrong kind of show for this channel. I'm not into bringing something home with me. I'm not into ghost hunting. I kind of believe in that crap, so... Oh, man, does that reek. Ah, uh, dude, there's a creepy clown graffiti over here. Sounds like somebody walking up above, but I think it's just water dripping. Okay, that last place I found in the bush I thought was creepy, but this place is creepy and stinky. Look at that. You might want to read that sign there. Theft or vandalism. Doesn't say anything about trespassing. Okay, so the question is, do we go upstairs? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I hope there's a breeze because that thing's swinging. I don't know why when there's an abandoned building everybody feels the need to smash every window. Oh dude. Nasty? Creepy. Oh it stinks too. That's carpet. Yeah it does stink. Did something die in here, in here somewhere? <laughs> oh God. Huh, so the rookie pointed out we don't even have detectors, but I don't know that I want to take that with me. This yeah. place is just so bloody creepy. It's new, it's shiny. I think I saw this room in the last Fallout game I played. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's like a swamp growing inside the building. We gotta go down that hallway before we leave. I, can't, I don't wanna go down that hallway. Alright. I feel... this feels freaky. It's creepy in here for sure. We would not make uh, good ghost hunters, that's for sure. I'd be running. Oh, 
Oh yeah, dude, total Fallout vibe in this place. Or Elix. <laughs> Any of you guys play the video game Elix? Kind of a sleeper from last year. Not a bad game. Great game. You don't have a jetpack, do you? Not on me. Left it in the car. What a weird place. Oh, hell no, I'm not going down there. No, me either. Hell no. Hey! You bastard. You took off on me. Alright, I'm out of here. Don't you frickin' jump out at me either. I know you too friggin' well. We're both agreed that it's too freaking creepy to go back in there. There's another wing over here. It's but more uh, of the smell. Don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I did pick up that dime and it's going to stay right freaking here. <laughs> I'm not taking that home. <laughs> hey, look at this. Stay right there. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't want to move. Find a plug-in. It's creepy. Every side of this place is creepy. Jesus! <laughs> you know I'm not cut out for this kind of place. It's broad daylight and I'm freaking out. <laughs> Pigeons mate for life. Oh, God. Yeah, so this here looks like it was all burnt. Maybe that's why they shut it down. There was a fire and... Where the swamp was growing in there, maybe, or something? I don't know. Holy dude, I just about stepped down here. And look at this. Oh my god. There is a basement, and I am not going anywhere near that. Echo, echo. Anybody down there? Hey, we were only on the second floor. There's three floors. No, I'm not going back in there either. So we just remembered that we've got the drone. Ready the drone. You gonna let me fly it? Hell no. Hells yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't think so. It's a good thing we had that drone with us because there was no way I was climbing back in there to check out that third floor. No, I was happy to sit back 100 feet. That smell was just rancid rot. Yeah, creepy. Creepy place. It reminds me totally of the video game Elix, like you said earlier, with the plants and everything growing around oh, the building. 100%. It's like they modeled that game off of this old inn. You know, if a, a glowing ghoul had climbed out of that basement pool, I wouldn't have been more surprised, man. I was just like, yeah, yeah. I was expecting it. It would have been fitting, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely a creepy place. You wouldn't catch me going back there at night, that's for sure. I'm not into this ghost hunting thing. When you said you didn't want that dime, I didn't want the raspberries off the raspberry bush. No. Uh, when you said raspberries, no way. Don't take anything, don't eat anything from this property. No, no. I did like the swamp room, though. The swamp room was cool. It was really cool. Uh, I think it was probably my favorite. Although this penthouse view with the fireplace was a close second, I think. But we don't know if it smelled because the drone 
we couldn't tell. So I'm pretty sure this whole property and the neighboring property smells identical. Yeah. Demon stink. <laughs> Satan's bottle. <laughs> yeah. Pigeon crap everywhere. And here's your little pigeon buddies right here. Yeah. Retribution. Drop the drone right on top of them. And try. My luck though, one of them would have flew right up into the rotors and there goes my drone again. That would have been good footage though. I'd have paid to see that. I wouldn't be climbing up there to get the drone though, that's the only problem. So we'd have no footage. The only place you could metal detect there is probably on the backside. I don't even know what you'd get. But at least you'd be downwind. Mid-90s junk. <laughs>